On this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the new macOS Mojave on your computer, which ones are compatible, a first look, and I'll let you know also if I had some issues since I installed on my MacBook Pro, but right now, let's roll the intro. So like you already know, the macOS Mojave will be on the market in September, but I couldn't wait until that moment to put my hands on this new version of the macOS and that's why I installed it. So like I said in the beginning of the video, it will be just a quick look of it and how you can install it and it's completely up to you if you want to do the change or if you want to wait until September. I couldn't wait until September to have all the features that are already included in this better version, but it's up to you if you want or not to do it. But let's dive down and I'll show you how you can can do closer but let's move to the computer so the first thing that you have to do is to check if your computer is compatible with this new version and I will leave in the description below a link where you can check it and I was really really lucky because I have a MacBook Pro from mid 2012 so I could install this on my computer but if you have for example MacBook Pro from 2010 or 2011 I have bad news you can't do it or if you do it and if you have issues you already know why and how you do the installation is very very simple you just have to go to the description of this video you will see the link where you can do the download of a file and after you do the download of this file the only thing that you have to do is basically install in the normal way like you do every single time so you just have to come here you open the file you press it and after you just have to do all the steps until you reach the last one and it's installed when you finish to install the file that I left to you guys basically it will open automatically the App Store and like you can see I have already the Mac OS Mojave so it's quite quite different but in this part do a normal installation like you always do on your Mac and after you'll reboot your computer and that's it. By the way, when we come here on the App Store you can see that it's completely completely different. So you have this cover and you can check everything in the same place but after it divides by categories so you can see Create and it's more related with for example Final Cut Pro and other things related more with photography, with video and other stuff. You have work, a bunch of apps to just help you in your normal days. I like the idea that now you have a part just for games like we can see here Lara Croft developers all the categories where you can do downloads education business finance lifestyle and others and you have here the updates and the updates here they are only for the apps that you download not for the system preference and for the new updates of the system so when you go to system preference you can already see a difference you have a new icon for the software update and here will only come the updates of your software and you can see that I'm up to date I have the last version and it's working flawlessly without any any problem so like I said this is completely legit so when you go to the app store is to download the official beta version of the macOS Mojave for developers but it's not the official one is the beta version so it will have some bugs but you'll have to live with that if you want to do it if you don't want to live with this don't install because it's not ready and wait until September so let's give a quick look of the macOS Mojave and when you come here in the general mode you can see the appearance now you can choose between the white one and the dark mode and also you can change the accent colors you have much more colors than before before I think there was just blue and green I'm not completely sure but I think it was that and now you can go from blue red orange and you can see that the colors are always changing here green purple pink and here you have already a bug you can see it don't change the name to gray you continue here saying pink but it's small things okay it don't bother me but I prefer to be pink I like to see the contrast between the pink and the gray but let's continue so like you can see it's morning it's Monday I'm trying to finish this video in time for you guys and unfortunately I had some issues with the microphone so that's why I had to record once again but let's continue on the desktop screen saver in this part you are able to see Mojave dynamic you are able to see Mojave day and you are able to see Mojave night so how you use the Mojave dynamic so first of all what you have to do is you have to go to your system preference you open your system preference after you have to go to security and privacy until you click on the bottom here obviously you have to put your password and after you are able to enable the localization of your services and in that way you are able to use the Mojave Dynamics so in that way you can recognize during the day during the night and changing all your desktop before we finish this video I want to show you also two other features that makes me desire to have the Mac OS Mojave on my computer and one of them is the stock so you can organize your laptop 
by kind, data, name. Like you can see on my computer, I have everything organized by types. I'm always a bit a mess when I'm working, so that's why I decided to do like this. But you can see, I can organize by image. And when you press on top of it, it will open. And when you press once again, it will close and assemble everything in the same place. Music, movies in this case is the screenshots. And yeah, in here we have the other features that I like a lot. It's getting some issues, it's not perfect. I will talk about it in the next video that I will talk about this macOS Mojave. But you can basically take a screenshot, you can record your screen. And when you start recording, so you just have to press here. And after on the top here, you will see the symbol of stop. And when you press it, you will automatically put the screen save. And when you press here on the top to stop, it will basically save on your desktop or whatever you want to save. But it will save there the file with the video that you've done of the screen or the photo or whatever you are taking. That is a cool feature that I have here is helping me and using that feature when I'm doing this video for you guys. Question of the day, what do you think about this new Mac OS? Do you think that is cool, the new features that are available? If you have already installed, let me know what you think about it. Do you think that was a bad decision that I've done? How was your experience? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you don't have subscribed until now. Share this video with your family and friends. Comment below, smash the thumbs up. And like I said in all my videos, you already know the answer. I see you in the next one. Thank you.